Caddis Max is here this time with a quick review of the start center punches as well as long and short drive pin punch sets. These aren't the, all the sets they make. They also make uh, more comprehensive uh, master sets as well as just about every manufacturer has drive pin punches. Uh, I chose to get the Starrett's because I found these uh, on a pretty good deal online. And Starrett's always look, they really have a nice finish to them. And these dry pin punches are one of the most affordable tools from them. That being said, uh, one thing I'm not so happy with Starrett is that they come with these plastic pouches and uh, they never really have been the greatest. And especially with these sharp edge dry pin punches, they just pretty much tear apart these plastic pouches. Uh, I've taken real good care of mine, uh, but for the most part, they generally uh, won't last for you at all. And I'll put the part numbers for these sets. We have the S717, the S565, and the S248. Let's go ahead and start off with these center punches. These are all pretty nice. One of the, if I can reach here, one of the big things about Sterrett's is that they do have a real fine finish. And being a manufacturer that makes a lot of machinist tools, that's one of the things that you can expect is at least them for them to look uh, pretty darn nice. Uh, one thing to mention, and we'll go ahead and zoom in just a little bit more, is that Starrett does, you know, like many other manufacturers, tries to save money. And these, this five-piece set, they only use three different rod sizes. And then these three sizes in the middle, all they've done is just turned them down to different diameters. And I did think, even though the set was pretty cheap, I thought that was pretty cheesy. Because essentially what's happening is you're getting a five-piece set, and really you get one small one, three mediums, and one large. And it's really over-duplicated. You should either just sell it as a three-piece set or give you some more progressive sizes because I kind of feel a little cheated that they're just sending you a bunch of duplicates but calling them different parts just because the shanks are slightly different and that makes almost no difference on a center punch piece idea of these is that you use them to mark a little divot for you drilling a hole so something can actually so the drill bit will actually stay centered that's why they're called center punches aside from that criticism they're all made pretty nice they have really nice uh, and actually that is an etching that's a stamping on there then then it's been sanded after the stamping so they stamp it so that and then they carburize it so you can get the black lettering and then they sand the tip so that actually isn't laser printing that's actually stamped and I've always liked that and then we can see with the knurling that at least that's one thing you can expect from Starrett is just to have top quality knurling you really know a good knurling because when you pick up a tool uh, it's like your fingers are glued to it it really doesn't want to slip and so the consistency and the finish and the knurling really makes them pretty well worth it. Uh, it would just be nice if they were a little more thoughtful. Now on the smaller 8-piece short dry pin punch set, it's a similar situation where you have the same stock size for the first four, increased stock size to the next two, and then, uh, or excuse me, the next two, and then the last two are actually larger stock sizes for each one. So it's kind of eclectic. Of course, with these dry pin punches, especially the smaller ones, they can be a little bit weak. The other thing about these Starrett's is to try to make the tip a little stronger. They have this taper, which is a good idea, although it can be an issue. Because when you're driving out pins or roll pins or any situation where you're using a small punch, trying to push something through a hole, uh, if you're not careful, you can easily get to the point where you're, start, you're starting to push the taper into the hole, and then this punch gets jammed in there, and it's always exciting to try to get it out. The other issue is, is that you really do need metric and standard. I don't have them, but you have to be pretty careful. Because oftentimes when you're using roll pins, roll pins are the pins that's like a piece of sheet metal rolled up, and they have a hole in the middle. And oftentimes if you use one of these, you're, or oftentimes you're in a situation where one size, such as this, is too big, and then the next size down like this is a little too small. And so if you just, this won't fit in the hole, but this actually wants to end up sliding inside the hole of the roll pin. You have to be kind of careful to offset it and hit on the edge of the roll pin. And it makes it a little bit more cumbersome to use. But in usual steric quality, we can pick up any one of these and see that the knurling is pretty nice. This one's almost optimal. It's just little pyramids with just that aren't quite fully filled out. That would be considered the textbook knurl. And just always so much grip on those. We'll go ahead and finish up with these long drive pin punches and what's interesting about these long ones is I believe just to save some money they still use a traditional drill rod I think these are all 1095 but I stare doesn't tell you exactly what steel they use so I'm not exactly sure 
But on these, you can see these are really nice. They're ground. Another thing is these, do, the long ones, do not have a taper in them. So they can push really far down. And then they are pressed into these steel handles, which I thought was interesting. That they, The design is totally different on the long ones and the small ones. Because these, it's just a rod that is pushed into a handle. But there is no taper on the rod, so it won't get jammed. And you have this hard shelf here, which I always thought was nice. And it's probably easier for them to manufacture these to make it so they'll take a bit better of a beating rather than having to uh, heat and then temper just the back end of these. And I think part of that's why Starrett grinds the back of these is so you don't see the discoloration. Uh, because when you make these kind of punches, you know, center punches, dry pin punches, uh, you'll heat treat the whole thing. And then you'll want the back end to be a bit tempered so that it doesn't want to chip or crack. But you still want the tip to be hard. So they end up having heating just the back half of these to get the back end just a little bit softer. That causes a oxidization or discoloration. So they may just sand them or carburize them afterwards to hide that. When you use press fit two piece designs, you don't have any worries about that. You have a handle and it's heat treated a certain way. And then you have a very hard rod. These I do recommend just because they're much longer. You have a much easier grip because you can use a full hand, so it's real nice to keep them nice and steady. My criticism is that they are pretty expensive and they only come in a five piece set for the budget version. And it's five eclectic sizes, I guess they determined to be the most common. I believe it's like eighth inch, three sixteenths, quarter inch, five sixteenths, and three eighths, or the shank sizes on those. But this was just a quick review, just giving people a quick overview of these stair tools. And quite frankly, I've looked around online and on eBay, and for uh, I think I was able to price out with shipping like uh, $65 or something, $75. These sets are all still made uh, to get all three of them. And there's Craftsman, there's lots of really nice drive pin and center punches, but these are truly beautiful. The stair one. And some of the mother, more high-end drive pin punches really just have nice knurling, nice chamfers, and really what you would expect from a, a real quality tool. And in these type of situations, I kind of trust the heat treatment and quality of materials more. It ultimately means a longer-lasting tool, such as when you're using them uh, and you damage the tip, you can easily hit this against the grinder and know that it's hardened all the way up, so it's no problem resharpening these. And the same thing with the drive pin punches. Anyway, that was another quick review from Catus Maximus. I really appreciate everybody watching. Uh, please subscribe.